Previously, we looked at United Cutlery and Weta Hobbit Replicas. But if you've flown recently and checked out the Sky Mall, you've seen that the Noble Collection is also offering Hobbit Replicas. Castle Forged. They too have Gandalf's staff, but this time it lights up. Not sure on the mechanics of that, but it looks cool. They also have a line of full-size stainless steel swords. They have Sting, and also a light-up Sting. Okay, Glowing Sting, Glowing Staff. I gotta see these in person, because that seems awesome. Thorin Oaken Shields Orchrist, and Gandalf the Grey's Glomdring. Most of these swords come on awesome die-cast metal wall displays. There's also Thorin Oakenshield's Dwarven Sword, which is a unique one, or at least one that we haven't seen the other companies make yet. You can also get them miniaturized as letter openers. They even have that unique Thorin Oakenshield's Dwarven Sword miniaturized. Or you can just get all three. The key to Erebor is also back, but this time it comes with a map and is on a plaque. There's a lot of jewelry, some of Galadriel's, the One Ring, and Elrond is decked out. There's Thranduil's Snake Ring, the Ring of Lindir, Thorin's Ring is back again with some variations, and he has a beaten band that I haven't seen before with interesting markings. I think these three rings are my favorite. They're understated, they're a little obscure, but they just have a classic feel. Plus these button cuff flukes scream to me, Hobbit. I missed the jewelry in the movies, but the jewelry is apparent now in these pictures. They are the little details that make these movies so rich, and when I watch it again, I am sure I'll notice them now. That's my news update for today. Like if you like. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.